Let me know what you guys think about these weird, creepy TikToks that would make you rethink a lot about your life. Because I'm not going to lie, after watching some of these, I got a little bit of the chills. We are back again with some creepy and scary TikToks that would definitely make you rethink about a lot of the actions you do in your day-to-day -day basis. Let's check this out. This is why you should never sleep in your car. Yeah, I mean, you really shouldn't unless you really had to sleep in your car. So I don't understand. Let's see why, though. Two years ago, a man was driving two hours home after a family reunion, and it started to get dark outside. The road he was driving on was dense with trees and bushes. And it I mean, who who's sleeping on the side of the road anyway with something like this? You're asking for it. <laughs> Whatever happened to you, bro, if you're on a road like this, you asked for it. I'm sorry. I hate to say it. Looked like something out of a horror movie. Exactly. About an hour into his drive, the man got really tired, and he decided to pull off the road into some bushes and sleep. About 30 minutes after the man fell asleep, he woke up to the sound of someone scratching his car window. What? He looked around for a bit, but the noise stopped. He then went back to bed. He again woke up an hour later to the same sound. And then he went back to bed. If I hear anything scratching on my car in the middle of the night in the woods, you think I'm gonna just, oh, alright, go back to sleep? Come on, bro. You could have not been that tired, bro. Found. And as he looked around, he caught a glimpse of something running away into the bushes. The man thought it would be a good idea to leave, so okay. he started his car and drove around the near okay. corner. As the man turned the corner, he saw another car parked in the bushes to the side of the road. And as the man slowed down to get a better look, he saw a man in his rearview mirror sprinting towards his car yelling curse words at him. He oh, hell, oh, hell no. Buddy would have got ran over easily. Something, I would have reversed this, something, ain't no way. That would have been creepy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And stepped on the gas and drove away. Moral of the story, don't sleep in your car. What? This is why you should always take your lockdown drills seriously. In 2017, two 16-year-olds were in their school bathroom when the lights suddenly went out and their school went into lockdown. Feeling rebellious, they decide, you know what, let's go explore the school a little bit first and then we'll go follow procedure. They step out of the bathroom and look down the hall towards their classroom and they see this large figure standing in front of their classrooms. What the it's hell definitely about? not a student, it's not a teacher. He's got ragged clothes on and he starts walking towards them. They dart right back into the bathroom to the corner stall where they hide, praying that that man didn't see them. The man bursts in and starts yanking open all the stalls. Not wanting to see what happens when he gets to their stall, they get on the ground and start crawling to the side of the room where they finally get up and make a run for the door. They look back and he's holding a gun. The boys manage to get away safely and no one's hurt, but the police never cap- <laughs> Look at my ex. Looks like my ex. Looks very familiar. The no cap. These are the most bone chilling photos on the internet, part three. This was just a normal picture of a wedding. Until you look in the background, and you can A normal picture of the wedding? What is what is this sinister stuff going on at the bottom of the screen right here? What is this? See what appears to be a cult wearing hoods and robes. This is super disturbing, and I wonder what their intentions were for being at that wedding. Next is a photo of a man who was dressed as Santa, going door to door surprising kids. But they had no idea that this man would later kidnap them and- If, if, th if this was the man that was at the door, Talk about surprising kids. How dumb are these? How dumb were they? They looked at the peephole and if you would have seen this ugly ass, downgraded ass Santa at your door, are you gonna? Oh, come on, gang. Really? And most likely really? killed them because these two girls were never found. And the Santa Claus costume that the man is wearing is also very chilling. Finally, is this photo. This photo looks photoshopped, but it's not. This couple has a- It's not. It's not. On what appears to be some sort of animal mask, posing for a picture. This photo just gives me chills looking at it, and there is just something about it that makes it very disturbing. I- yeah, something about it makes it disturbing. The picture itself, what do you- what do you mean? You got two things standing there. Looking like Ratatouille, one's eyes this way, one's that way. Come on, and like, come on, bro. What the, the some of the things that they be saying at the end of the TikToks just be getting me, bro. It's just something about it that makes it very disturbing. Is one of the scariest sounds you will ever hear. When odd skull-shaped grave items were found by archaeologists decades ago in an Aztec temple in Mexico, they were thought to be oh, yeah. ornaments or toys and were cataloged and stored in warehouses. 
But years later, experts discovered that they were actually creepy death whistles that the Aztecs used in ceremonies, sacrifices, and in battle to strike fear within their- Nah, that's crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. I, I believe in this. I believe in this one. Their enemies. And when these whistles were finally blown, they made piercing noises resembling the sound of a human howling in pain. What? Oh, what the? Hey, hold on. The, 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 the deep breath again, Loki. That's Loki a little weird, chat. This true story is so simple and so creepy. On June 21st, 2009, a 16-year-old wakes up to an empty house around 11 a.m. He heads downstairs, grabs a snack, and goes to the basement and plans on watching TV for the next few hours until he meets his friend around 3. About 30 minutes later, his mom comes downstairs and asks him, where have you been all day? Confused, he says, I've only been up for like 30 minutes. And then he looks at his phone, and it's after 7 o'clock at night. There's dozens of minutes. Hold on, 32 days ago. 32 days ago. His calls and several text messages from his friend and his mom asking, where are you? He tells his mom that none of this makes any sense, but what she tells him is even worse. She said that she was there all day and saw him go into the basement at 11, but after that, he was gone all day. So for one day in the summer of 2009, this kid didn't exist. Wait, wait, what? Hold on, this why? why? <laughs> so why was there a picture of like messages that said days ago? I'm thinking bro went down there and was down there for months or something. Scary story about the new carpet. There was a woman named Cindy who had to buy a new carpet. She was searching the internet all day for one until she found the perfect one on Facebook Marketplace. She she messed, that's, that's, that's what you messed up at. Acted the seller and he agreed to sell it to her. Cindy then got the address and drove to the seller's house. When Cindy got there, the person was already waiting outside for her with the carpet rolled up. She then helped them carry the carpet to her car. Cindy noticed that the carpet was heavier than most carpets, but she just ignored it. She then paid the man and drove home. No when way, Cindy... don't, don't tell me there was a body or something in the carpet chat. Do not tell me there was a body in the, there's no she way. Home. She had a very hard time bringing the carpet into her house because it was so heavy. When she finally got it into her house, she so... unrolled it and what she saw made her scream. It was a dead girl's body rolled up. Ain't no way. There's no way. There's no absolute way. Up in the carpet. Cindy then called the police and told them everything. They then went to the person's house who sold it to her and arrested him. It turned out he murdered his own daughter and rolled her body in the carpet. What? Scary true stories that will keep you what? up at Are night. You After me? a little on, girl and her on, mother moved into an apartment comp- Hold on. The way these stories turn from buying a carpet Finding out there's a body, then you then you find out that's the that's the father's daughter. This is crazy. Complex. They were very excited to live in I'm their not own space lie. and explore oh my the gosh. around them. That is until one day when the girl's mother noticed something strange. She found her daughter standing in front of an old closet, holding out a French fry as if she was feeding it to somebody. What? The girl's the mom thought nothing of it, as it's extremely common for young children to have imaginary friends. Yeah, but not feeding fries to the closet. I don't know about that one. Later that same day, when the two sat down for dinner, the girl said something strange. She said that the girl upstairs is always so hungry and constantly asks her for french fries. Confused, the girl's mother asked her where the girl was, and her daughter told her that she was inside of the closet. The mother again brushed it off, telling herself that she was just playing some sort of silly game. But later that night, when the mother was searching about the home... My kids tell me that, I'm going up there immediately. Immediately. Pretty scary. She discovered a 20-year-old article on the apartment couple who lived in that very same complex was arrested for starving their child to death. And apparently what? she died in the closet, and her favorite food was french fries. Here's why you should never turn nah, your Snapchat that's crazy. location on. Nah, that's crazy. Hey, how many of you guys have your Snapchat location on? I'm not gonna lie, the new Snapchat update, it's even so bad now, it lets you know when, like, if a friend's close to you, and it, like, gives you your location and their location saying, this person's three minutes away, say hi. I ain't that, like, isn't that a little weird, bro? A girl was home alone That's sitting not, in her bedroom no cap, watching TV weird. when she got a notification on her phone. She opened her Snapchat to find a photo of Max, a strange lonely boy at school who had asked for her Snapchat a few days before. In the Snapchat, Max was grinning very creepily. The text read, Are you alone? Read, Are you alone? 
She was about to block him when she received another chat from Max that said, You live on Warhead Lane, right? As soon as she opened it, she heard a tapping on her window. It was Max. He was staring directly at her with a disturbing grin on his face. And Max is getting, hey, hey. S -s 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 okay, okay. All right, Max, keep playing. She screamed before shutting the blinds and calling the police. But when they arrived, they said there was no one on the property and he must have ran away. The girl was haunted by Max, but eventually she went to sleep. She woke up the next morning to find that she had received another Snapchat from Max. It was of her in her bed sleeping. Nah. Easily, he would have got pieced up. Taken three hours ago. Three hours? Oh, nah, that's creepy, chat. That, these are so creepy TikTok. Hey, man, once again, I hope you guys keep sending me these TikTok videos to react to. I hope you guys are enjoying these new type of videos for now, man. We're going to keep doing this until we hit that million mark, or at least that 500k mark. And we're going to switch it up from there. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Hope you have a good day. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Hey, saucy, flossy. I can't get none of them off me. You want to know how to off me. Your bitch over here, she off me. Drip.